Status report. What ship is it? Klingon. It is a small fighter of unknown design, probably defensive to protect the planet. It appears to be automated. I would say that it probably does not pose any real threat. Not at this time. I am trying to communicate with it. What are you doing? Stop that. Restrain her. What is going on? Why are we losing power? All but one of our primary power couplings have been blocked. Our phasers have been drained of power. Engineering what caused the power loss? I need phasers. There is a ship out there. The technician that was infected put a virus into our systems. The virus shut down all but one power coupling. She also discharged the phasers. Throw her in the brig. How long until we restore power? I am shutting the power couplings down to reboot them. It will take about a half hour. Can you get me some phasers? Our shields will not last long. I can start charging a bank and it will take a few minutes. All power will have to be diverted and it will get mighty cold up there. Do it. We don't have any choice. Okay everyone it is going to get cold and the air will get stale. Huddle together for warmth if you need to. Conserve air and don't move around a lot. Everyone stay alert. I expect trouble. I just got word from the ship. They are under attack. Look up in the sky. What is it? We are being watched. It looks mean. Everyone take shelter. It is zeroing in. I think it is going to attack. Set phasers to maximum. Open fire on the object.
I can get us power to the torpedo launchers. I cannot communicate with the bridge. Arm the photon torpedoes. Stand by to fire. We have no orders. We could be court-martialed. I will take responsibility. Fire photon torpedoes. That's better. Where is the ship? Engineering fired photon torpedoes. It is gone. Captain I fired photon torpedoes. The responsibility is mine. Thank you engineer. We will throw a party later. Now I need to support the landing party. Do we have transporters? Not yet but we are working on it. Captain's log. Our people have reverted to normal without any intervention, leaving us baffled. A bird of prey is picking up the Klingon. Mr. Bangle, please escort our guest to the transporter room. Your service to the Empire has been noted. We are preparing to leave for Starbase 10. Despite my efforts, I have not been able to persuade the science team to come with us. Unfortunately, Starfleet has ordered me to abide by their decision. Talker, are you really sure that you want to stay? I am not certain that the danger is past. Really Captain, it is illogical for you to continue to ask me that question. Our work is not finished. We are civilian scientists and not subject to the Prime Directive, if that even applied here. We have all voted to remain on the planet. You will be receiving quarterly visits from Starfleet to monitor your progress. Goodbye Talker. Live long and prosper, Captain. Lay in a course for Starbase 10. As soon as the science team has disembarked, engage at warp 2. Intruder alert, intruder alert. What is going on? What is that? Security to the bridge, on the double, there is no cause for apprehension, Captain Lang. I am the voice of the central computer of Polaris 7. We regret that our defense systems viewed your people as hostile. You will now be treated as honored guests. The science team you have placed there is welcome to continue its work. Our main duty is to seek out new life and civilizations. Ready for your orders, Captain. Stand by for now. Take no action. Many centuries ago the people of our planet detected increases in radiation as the sun began to change. A survival strategy had to be used. Thousands of parents gave up their infants to be raised underground. Most of them had barely reached puberty when the radiation was too much. It was necessary to put them into hibernation. Then the radiation wiped out everyone else. Yes. We use cybernetic organisms to tend to the hibernation tubes. You may have heard them. They have the same basic emotions that you do. We are waiting for the planet to be habitable again. I would speculate that your detection systems may be malfunctioning, probably due to lack of maintenance. The planet is lush and green, and the radiation levels are normal. Our team has found it slightly warmer than we are used to, but pleasant. You obviously can scan our systems and you are welcome to the data. I see. Our computer systems will study the data and make a decision based on it. Captain the scientists are all on the surface. Space detail is ready. Engage warp 2. Let's go to Starbase 10.
Well Eva I hope we did the right thing, leaving the scientists there. I would not want to see your being court-martialed for taking them with us. I just hope they do not interfere with the planet's inhabitants, if the computer wakes them up. Lonnie, there are some things that go beyond the Prime Directive, which does not apply anyway. The children will need all the guidance they can get from the androids. Maybe a little guidance from flesh and blood people would also help. Tell us what that thing in the sky is. It feels warm on my face. It is pleasant. It is called the sun. It provides the heat for your world. You are not like the others. Why is that? I am a Vulcan. I come from a different world. Come on children. Time to go back to school. I hope we are not interfering with their culture. Education should never be called interference. We will help them. You Vulcans are more like us than you are willing to admit. I think that is why we like you. Compassion is a part of our shared legacy.